Ahoy, and welcome to today's video. So we're gonna be talking about a budget M54 build that you can do on your car at home. This will involve reusing a lot of OEM components from different models, which are quite cost effective to achieve pretty substantial results. So what we have behind me is my first car. CI and this has the M54 B22 in it. It's a good engine. This one's done quite a few miles. It's done about 140,000 miles thereabouts, 230,000 kilometers. I think it's been a while since I've driven this. But the biggest problem that I have with this car is just that it's so slow. It's been the most reliable car that I've ever owned. However, I'm not that excited to drive it because it's just it just doesn't really go anywhere. There's been quite a few times when I've been driving this and I've been and I've been absolutely smoked by some of these cars that are P-plate approved. Examples of this are Volkswagen Golf, the non-GTI variant, it's not that far, the GTI variant, Toyota, the Toyota 86 or the GT86 if you're in the UK. The one that really annoyed me was there was a C18, there's a, there was a C180 diesel Mercedes-Benz and it absolutely smoked me. So I've had enough. What are you doing? So in that regard, I've got some very exciting news. I've just picked up a M54 B30 rotating assembly. So the crankshaft, the pistons, and the rod. I picked it up from a person called Sam. So Sam, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Some of the pistons have got some indentations on them where it looks as though the valve has hit the piston. Sam, the previous owner, told me that he did a money shift once, so, but that's okay. I'll see if I end up using the pistons. If not, I'm not too worried. I can always reuse the pistons from a 2.5 litre and use the 3 litre connecting rods and the crankshaft. So let's go and have a look at it. In regards to my boot, it's currently being used as storage. So don't judge me, but if you do want to judge me, that's fine. I'd rather that you just unsubscribed. There's the crank. There's a set of cams. And here are the pistons and rods. So this is what I was talking about. On the piston in terms of having a little bit of an indentation but nothing too concerning but i'll see if i end up using them the actual crank looks to be in reasonable condition obviously it's not perfect it's done a lot of kilometers but i think it's going to be fine for my use i might even take it to like a machine shop and get them to polish it out or to give the polish but yeah See how we go. So you've just seen my latest purchase. The goal is to buy a 2.5 litre block, well, engine, and then put the three litre rotating assembly in there. Whilst I'm there, I'll take the camshafts out and I'll get them reground to be some really fat ones. I'm thinking about the intake would be 272, 10 and a half mil lift, exhaust, 264, 10 and a half mil lift again. It's gonna be quite a nice little meal once it's all together. So why am I doing this? It's pretty simple, because I don't wanna spend any money. The only difference between the two and a half litre and the three litre in regards to the displacement is the, is the actual stroke. The actual ball size, which is the size of the piston, is exactly the same. It's just that the stroke, which is how far the piston travels up and down, is shorter on the two and a half litre. So with that in mind, you can get the 2.5 litre block put the three litre rotating assembly in it and then you have a three litre. Whereas if I was to do that on my 320CI, the sports with the M54 B22, that's got a smaller ball size. From memory, it is, I don't know what it is, but I'll put it up here. And then I'll put the 325 and then the 330 here, or maybe it's gonna be here. To be honest, it doesn't really make any sense to go further than that. 
I could spend a lot of money and get, I could do valve springs, retainers, a harmonic balancer, an underdrive pulley set, and then rev it to 8,000 RPM, including the, the N54 intake manifold. I could go that far. However, it doesn't really make any sense to financially. To be honest, it doesn't really even make any sense to get the cam through ground. It's more just that it'll, that it'll sound a little bit, it'll be a little bit more filthy. And that's all I'm really after. This car's never really gonna win any awards, both in its appearance and also its performance. If I wanted a faster car, I would have just bought a faster car. I do have my 135i, or M135i, which I'm debating whether I keep it or sell it, mostly because the market's come down so far that if I was to sell it, I would lose money. And I'm not saying that as if it's gonna skyrocket in value two years from now, but as they say, it's cheaper to keep her. You see this solar light? I installed it. So when's this all gonna happen? Very soon. However, I've gotta be smart about when I decide to do this. We've got the E36. I've actually just gotten that back from the fabricator. Cage is in. I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek. Cage is in. I've gotta buy a seat, harness, seat bracket, fire extinguisher, tires, brakes, and a whole bunch of other just miscellaneous stuff. It needs to be serviced because it's overdue. And then once all that's done, it needs its first shakedown. When I do this first shakedown, I'm gonna find other things that need work and that's okay. All right, so, be so before I show you the cage, just remember that the dash is out and there's stuff everywhere and I haven't put it back together, okay? All right, so the cage is in. There's the door bars with some, with some very nice gussets on it. There's the cross brace, there's the other door bar, there's, there's, there's the dash, that's my little seat. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's all welded in, it's all legit. So now I need to make a sunroof delete panel, which I may have mentioned in a previous video. I'm not sure if I have. Anyway, it needs to go right here. And whilst I'm doing updates, I may as well do one on the one series I've got. So this is my M135i. A lot of people actually don't even know that I have this just because I don't really make any videos on it and there's kind of a good reason why. These have kind of got issues with rod bearings and this is the N55 B30, I believe it's the MO edition or OO, I can't remember. But it's the variant that comes in the M2. So what that means is that it's the same, it's the same variation as the one that comes in the OG M2. The only difference is, is the dual pickup sump or the lack of it in this car. So what does that mean? That means that if I spin a rod bearing, that crank is incredibly expensive. And the only real way to find a crank is to get it out of a wrecked car or to buy an engine out of an M2 or well, you know, obviously one of one of these as well. And that's fine. But how much is one of those engines? Well, they're about $15,000. How much is that car worth? A little bit more than that. Not that much more. So what I'm saying is, is that if I spin a rod bearing, I essentially have to pay the cost of the car to either get a used engine or, well, it obviously depends on how badly spun it is. If it's, if the machine shop can polish it out, or if they can if they can weld more material onto the crank and then and then cut it back to factory size and or a bigger size and then I run oversized rod bearings that's also okay but what I'm saying is is that I'm a bit scared to drive on the track and blow it up because it's going to cost an, a lot of money so that's that at the same time there's a whole deal with the Aki sump could just install an Aki sump and a big oil cooler and just not worry about it and also overfill it at least a litre, so seven and a half litres, and then have an AccuSump as well. That would probably work. But in some respects, I don't like the idea of flogging the piss out of your daily because that's kind of the point of having a daily. But anyway, that's where I'm at with it. But because the, use, because the car market's come down so far, if I sell it, I'm going to lose a lot of money. But if I keep it and do an AccuSump and a few other things to make it so I can flog it without worrying about it, well, when, when, I, when, I, when I say flog it, I mean take it to the track day, enjoy myself, enjoy the car, and not be too worried about it. That's all that really means. That, that doesn't mean starting it up on a winter morning and taking it straight to red line because I think it's funny. I actually don't think I could even do that, just couldn't do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had COVID recently, which is why I haven't uploaded in a long time. 
anyway, I'm feeling pretty good now. So I'm, I'm gonna get back into the videos. Also, I really wanna do some more merch. The first merch that I did, it was a, it was a, it was a learning experience and I'll just leave it at that, but I really want some good designs. Summer's coming out soon. We're currently winter and we're having, we're having a, a 26 degree day, which is fantastic. People, people in the UK could only dream of such things. I might make a video on that as well. See how I go. But anyway, all you really need to know is, is that I'm not there anymore. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'll see you soon.